Today, if you're just tuning in, we're taking a look at this EKSA ergonomic gaming mouse. Now, um, this is the EM600, 500 to 12,000 DPI. I believe there's either five or six levels there. Uh, there's a soft braided cord, mouse control aiming, 20 million times keystroke rated, so 20 million clicks before, you know, the, the thing will start breaking down, basically. And uh, let me back up just for a second. So this is the second thing that I have reviewed from EKSA. The first thing was last summer. It was the E900 Pro 7.1 Virtual Surround Sound Gaming Headset from E. K S A. So last summer they found me on YouTube, sent me an email, said, hey, would you like to review this? I said, sounds interesting. Sure. This is just a budget gaming headset. It's nothing super special. Of course, there is the 7.1 virtual surround sound. It has its own driver. Uh, if you, you know, omit the driver, you can use it like a normal headset. But anyway, it was, it was fine. It's a budget headset. There wasn't anything terribly special about it. Um, the 7.1 actually sounded really muddy on this, and overall I just wasn't super impressed. So they came to me, you know, maybe a month later and said, hey, would you like to review this other thing? I was like, eh, I mean, you guys are making budget stuff that is just kind of meh, so I don't really like doing reviews of stuff on my channel that's that are just... Um, so so uh so i declined um but then a couple weeks ago they they brought this to my attention and what piqued my interest was this thing actually won a red dot design award now if you're not familiar with red dot design awards so this guy right here red dot winner 2021 that little symbol if you ever see that on a product that means that this brand has submitted their product to the Red Dot committee, I guess. And Red Dot has looked at this product from a unique design standpoint, but also an, an innovation standpoint. They thought that this product deserved an award, um, you know, for a unique design. So that's really what what drew my attention to this. I was like, okay, you won a Red Dot Award, let's take a look. So with that, let's take a look at this sucker. I mean, I don't have to be, but I kinda wanna keep the box. I like keeping boxes, especially of stuff I reviewed, if I'm not gonna like use it again right away. There's the user manual there. Not that you need to see that, but anyway, there is the, the mouse, comes in some uh, foam wrapping to protect the finish, the delicate finish. All right, so we got a little rubber um, here again. Let's just switch over to this guy. So you can see we got a uh, a little rubber strap to hold the cable into place or to keep it wrapped. It's a rubber wrap. What am I saying? Um, we have a uh, USB-A connection, the little protector on there. Has a little EKSA logo on it, right there. And there's the mouse itself. It's not in perfect focus at right here because it's still focusing on my face, but you can see what it looks like. First impressions, it's um, it's a pretty lightweight mouse. Um, this is a budget mouse from uh, Lenovo. It's a Legion mouse. And um, they're approximately the same weight. I would say the Legion is a little bit heavier. Um, does it have more buttons? It does not. So one thing I will note right away, which is just very unfortunate, 
I hate that they did this. So, this, on the Lenovo Legion mouse, this cable is, it's a braided cable, and the, the braiding is, how do I say this? It's one with the cord, okay? So you can't, like, bunch it up. It's, it's part of the cord with the wiring inside. This, on the other hand, look at this. They just put braiding over top of that cable. So it's just kind of loose and frankly it doesn't look that good. As far as it being ergonomic, I mean it's it's not really any more ergonomic than any other mouse. It's a little bit easier to click than my Logitech mouse that I'm using right here. Now this is obviously not a gaming mouse. This is a, a trackball mouse. So it makes sense that it has a little heavier of a click because you're not gonna be doing those fast repetitive clicks like you would in, in FPS or something. Um, but uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, right off the bat, you got some RG bizzles. Okay. Color changing, very nice. We got the EKSA logo on the bottom there. So you'll notice I don't have a mat right here. Compared to the Legion, that's that's actually really, really smooth. Um, there is a button on the bottom here, that guy right there, that we can use to change the different modes of our RGBs. Yeah, there we go. So you can use it to, you know, potentially match your gaming setup, your other uh, RGBs. Just initially uh, playing a few games. This, you know, it's a, it's it's a mouse. It's a gaming mouse. It it works. Now, you do have um, up to twelve thousand DPI. If you're the type of person that likes to change your DPI for certain situations, um, you got that RGB color change mode color change on the bottom which is nice you can also just turn it off apparently which um you know sometimes rgbs are just annoying um what else have we got here so we got that the fire button on the side as far as it being ergonomic i mean it's really not any more ergonomic than any other mouse except for that what they're calling a sniper button right there. So because this is kind of scooped out like that, your thumb does rest on that. And let me see if I can show you with my webcam here. So if you see how my thumb just rests right in there. So it does feel a little bit better um, when you're moving around, it feels like you have a little bit more control since you have some extra surface area for your thumb to push against. Um, I don't think you're accidentally going to hit that button because it is a little bit more firm. I mean, overall, it's it feels like a decent budget mouse. It's not heavy. Some people like a heavier mouse uh, because they feel like it's going to give them a little more more accuracy. Some people like a lighter mouse because they feel like they can move faster with it, right? So it's really just what um, what kind of gaming mouse, what kind of style you play, what what feels right to you. 
Um, let's compare this real quick to some of the other mice out there. So, for instance, this one is, I think, 20... Let's go back here. This is on Amazon, $25.99. Um, the Death Adder Essential, which, you know, I, the DPI thing, uh, again, that's like personal preference. I could care, couldn't care less about, you know, what level of DPI it's it sets at oh it has six levels of dpi I, I i don't think you really need that um i i almost never switch my dpi anyway so i you know what whatever you do you uh again uh though 29.99 so the Death Adder is a little bit more expensive. It's $5 more expensive. Um, this one has been around for a long time. Um, it's uh, a pretty classic mouse. Can this mouse compete with, say, a Death Adder Essential? Eh, I, I think the Death Adder has stood the, the test of time. Um, it is multi-award winning tech. Um... I, I don't think you're going to beat that with this mouse. Um, you know, you do have the RGBs, but at the end of the day, you want performance over, you know, look. Um, why would you buy this mouse over, say, a Death Adder? Probably because of that button on the side. Honestly, that's... But that's really only if you were going to use that button... Um, it's, it's a little bit of, of a gamble if you buy this mouse just to test out that fire button on the side. But if you've had mice in the past that have had that and you like it, then this is worth a try. I mean, here's the thing. On their website, they're advertising this as 31% off, um, $35.99. Now is twenty four ninety nine. I mean, I, I don't know. I think I think this mouse is actually worth twenty four ninety nine. To be perfectly honest, um, what are you paying for if you were to pay thirty six dollars for this? The fire button and the RGBs. Um, I'm not sure it's worth that. To to be frank. And there are, like, no reviews of this mouse yet. It's that new. I will say this. This this is a decent budget gaming mouse. Like, you're not going to go wrong with this if you buy it for gaming. Definitely check this out. I'll put this... I'll put a link to this in the description below. Again, the only things, the only downsides I see to this is just, like... It's really a, just a design thing from this cable. Like, I don't like that they just slipped this sleeve over the wiring. Um, it just, it looks cheap. So that's the only thing I'm looking at that I'm like, eh, that, that just looks like a low-grade mouse. But the scrolling feels good. The um, left and right click feels good you have a total of did it say eight programmable buttons one two three four five six six programmable buttons yeah and then you have a button on the bottom to adjust your rgbs so and that says plus and minus so i'm assuming that's your um your dpi setting yeah i mean it's a solid little mouse there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever um, it's a little bit of marketing for them to say, oh, this is 31% off, and now it's $24.99. This is worth $24.99. This is not worth $35. I'm telling you that right now. Um, especially if, like, the Death Adder Essential is 30 bucks, 
which honestly the death adder might be five dollars overpriced as well um but um you know at least with this you have rgbs and uh and an extra button so anyway i'll drop a link in the description below if you want to check it out Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video useful in any way, shape, or form, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You can find me elsewhere online. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and TikTok now, apparently, and uh, at Jay McDerris or Josh McDerris. And um, yeah, if, if you want to say thanks, uh, just click that thanks button underneath the video, and you can buy me a coffee or something, or I don't know. Maybe coffee and a muffin, you know, if you bump up the price, you know, from like $3 to, to 5 or 6 or 7 or $10. I'm not telling you what to do. You do you. But if you feel the desire to feed me in some way, I will gladly take your money. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.